No words. Sid Bolton's with us. <laughs> hey, sometimes I bring you new stuff. Sometimes I bring you old stuff. This looks like the 80s movie, Short Circuit. Uh, Short Circuit was a little bit more complicated, I think. Although the vision of what a robot was in the 80s, to me, this is more like kind of a robot that was on maybe Buck Rogers. But it's interesting to note how we thought about the future in the 80s and how the future has come about. I think in the 80s, we were promised that robots would probably take over the world right. and do a lot of things. And they have in certain ways, uh, certainly industrial robots, most things now today, electronics, your phones, everything are built by robots. But this is Topo. He's got a very nice little face. That's his eyes there. And at the very top, he has a infrared receiver. Uh, this particular robot is over 30 years old and uh, came to us at the Personal Computer Museum recently broken. He was not working anymore. And uh, my team of volunteers got him working again, at least uh, in the sense of we can control him a little bit at the top. And uh, Ted, he can carry about 26 pounds, so you could program him to bring you a beer, for example, or <laughs> your favorite beverage, uh, whatever that might happen to be. And uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, there were some models of him that actually spoke, and uh, we've got him working again. So do you want to see him oh, actually I move a little bit? Oh, I see this. Okay, so what, there's very simple controls on the top. Okay, so what I can essentially do is by pushing this button here, I can actually make him move forward and I can stop him. Right. I can actually make him turn in place and I could make him turn, we'll make him turn the other way if I can do and this And he works right. on new shag carpeting. And he works on, even on the newest of carpeting. He looks like he's a little unstable there, but he... No, he uh, looks like the beverage. He got a shot before yeah, he, he brought it to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's a little unstable, but when he's walking in whatever direction he's walking in, he can uh, walk quite a distance and... Uh, I didn't know somebody donated. I had a picture of you going to your <laughs> mailbox every day going, look what I got this time, honey. You know, and what's really interesting about this particular topo is that okay. he was was the one that was actually used at the Ontario Science Centre to demonstrate, um, he was actually used as an educational robot and how to teach kids how to program because uh, you could actually use an old Apple II computer uh, with a special infrared transmitter, not unlike your television remote right. today. And on the top of his head, it's hard to, it's gonna be hard to see on TV, but there's a whole bunch of receivers inside here so that Topo can receive remote instructions from pretty much anywhere. And so what we're planning on doing is enhancing him. So we're gonna put an Arduino controller in here that we can control from a smartphone. So I'll be able to sit here with my phone in the future and be able to make him move around. And also we're gonna make him talk because there was a version of Topo that spoke, but uh, we don't have that version or that special module. But uh, in the future, we hope to have Look at that. that picture, dad and son together. On yeah, exactly. It's, just, it's, it's a touching thing. It's a father's love. And if you want to meet Topo in person yourself, uh, or maybe your children, or you want to get a picture with him, he's very, very cool and fun to play with. Uh, this Saturday at the Personal Computer Museum, our open house is going to feature uh, our guest, Topo. He's going to be there, and you can come and check him out. And uh, Will he be inside the museum or running up and down the street? He will be inside the museum, although I will tell you, to get him here today, I made him walk himself. I put him on the pathway, I <laughs> aimed him, I hit the button, and I said, you are walking from here to the house, I'm not carrying you, just we're, like a child. Weren't you worried about all the salt they put out there in the winter? Uh, they made, uh, <laughs> no, you know what, his, uh, topo his, popo? his feet are pretty stable, so. Why Topo, did you say that? I No, I don't know what, where the origins of the name comes from. It probably stands for something, but interestingly enough, uh, one of the early investors in this was uh, Atari founder Nolan Bushnell. He was one of the people that invested money to uh, do this because he saw robots uh, having a, a great future. And like I said, they have, just not as personal robots. Although toys that kids have today are way more sophisticated than Topo. But you know what? He's three feet tall almost. He's pretty cool. What he do I, really why do I get the feeling that all the circuitry or whatever is probably now replaced by something the size of my thumb now? You know what? There's actually a lot of open space in him right, right now. So even in the 80s, he wasn't that complicated. But the thing is, is that's one of the reasons why we're going to be able to enhance him and do other cool things with him. So I'm very excited about uh, making some enhancements to him. But right now, he's pretty cool just the way he is. He has rechargeable batteries and he works well. So come and see him on Saturday between 10 and 4 at 13 Alma Street. He's got open space in his head, which makes him like many people I know. So exactly. Kind of you know, you probably hang out with robots from I time to time so. and you okay. just don't know it. How do you like new leather set before we go? Very, very nice. Very okay. comfortable. Topo, you like it? 
Yeah. He likes it. Yeah, we get the SPCA. Thanks for coming in today, buddy. No problem. Yeah. SPCA is going to join us tomorrow, so enjoy it. It's the last time the set will be this white. Uh, our friends will be in here from uh, Mohawk Street. Also, Anna Olson is going to join us from Glenhurst Art Gallery. And we're going to have, uh, well, some special educators right here on a Thursday. So uh, thanks to all our human and robot friends. And thanks to you. Thanks to our volunteers. And as always, we appreciate you doing it inside brand. <laughs>